If you guys are losing many matches in the battle royal rank mode, it could be that you're doing some mistakes. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys 10 mistakes that players do in battle royal rank matches and how to fix them. So without wasting any more time, first let's start with mistake number one. The first mistake that players do is that they directly rush into houses. Especially in the rank mode, some players camp near the stairs in houses. So if you just directly rush into a house without checking whether there are enemies, the enemy might jump and attack you. For example, in the peak house, enemies might hide near the stairs. So before entering the house, try to check from the windows if there are any enemies enemies hiding there. Another thing that players do is that they place landmines near the stairs. So before rushing through the stairs, try to see if there are any landmines or enemies. The second mistake that players do is that they become very greedy. For example, when they get many glue walls, they don't share them with their teammates. Let's say you have many glue walls, but your friend doesn't have any glue walls. Even though you had many glue walls, you didn't share them with your teammate. But if by any chance you got knocked down in an open area, it will be hard for your friend to revive you without any glue walls. So instead of greedily keeping many things such as glue walls, medkits and FF coins to yourself, try to share them with your teammates. The third mistake that players do is that they rush enemies without an armor. Before rushing an enemy, at least try to wear a vest. If you don't have a vest and you engage in a fight with an enemy, the enemy might do a lot of damage to you. For example, as you guys can see here, if I do a body shot on an enemy without a vest with a SVD gun, the damage is 112. But if the enemy has a level 1 vest, the damage is 86. If the enemy has a level 2 vest, the damage is 72. If the enemy has a level 3 vest, the damage is 60. And if the enemy has a level 4 vest, the damage is 57. So from this example, I think you guys can understand how important a vest can be. So before rushing an enemy, try to always wear a vest. The fourth mistake that players do is that they unnecessarily loot in the last few zones without any cover. As you guys might know, in the last few zones, the enemies can be very close to you. So if you just stay looting without any cover, an enemy could easily attack you. Sometimes enemies might even place landmines near loot and loot boxes. But there can be times that you need to loot in the last few zones. For example, if you are out of things such as glue walls or medkits, it's okay to loot in the last few zones. But if you have a lot of loot and you still try to loot in the last few zones, you could become an easy target for an enemy. So try to avoid looting in the last few zones. The fifth mistake that I'm gonna tell you guys is done by beginners. After playing the game for a few days, beginners go into the rank mode and camp in houses or on top of high places to push their rank. If you are a beginner, I highly recommend you to first learn how to rush and attack enemies. If you just keep camping in rank matches from the beginning, most of the time, you won't learn how to rush and attack enemies. So instead of camping, try to rush and attack enemies so that you can improve your skills. The sixth mistake that players do is that they rush alone without their squad. Especially in high rank lobbies, if you rush alone and get into a 1 vs 4 situation, you could get knocked down by the enemy team. So when playing, Instead of rushing alone, try to rush together with your teammates. The seventh mistake that players do is that they fire without any reason. When they do this, their position could get revealed to nearby enemies. If many enemies are nearby, a lot of them could try to rush you and your squad if you reveal your position by firing. So try to only fire in important situations. The eighth mistake that players do is that they land in the middle. If you land in the middle, you could get attacked from different different sides. So try to land in a corner instead of landing in the middle. So guys, now let's get on to mistake number nine. Sometimes after attacking an enemy in an open area, players just place one glue wall to cover themselves while using medkits. If you just place one glue wall to cover yourself in an open area, you could get attacked from the back or the other sides. So if you want to use medkits in an open area, try to fully cover yourself with three glue walls. The tenth mistake that players do is that they get into fights while they are outside the safe zone. It's a bad idea to get into fights when you are outside the safe zone because you could lose a lot of HP while you are outside the safe zone. If the enemy does a lot of damage to you, you could get eliminated outside the safe zone. So if you are outside the safe zone, try to get inside the safe zone and try to avoid getting into fights while you are outside the safe zone, especially if you don't have the K character. If you guys want more tips and tricks on how to push your rank in battle royal rank matches check out this video in here i talk about 10 tips and tricks that can help you to push your rank fast and win matches in the battle royal rank mode